The decimal number system is the base 10 number system that we use every day. It is called decimal because there are 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We can create numbers bigger than 9 using combinations of these 10 digits. Of course, you know this, but you may not be aware as to how this all works out. You may remember in elementary school writing numbers in expanded form, like 1395 for example. In expanded form, this is 1000 plus 300 plus 90 plus 5. You're no longer in elementary school, and you've had some more education since then, so let's use scientific notation to rewrite the expanded form. 1000 is 1 times 10 to the third. 300 is 3 times 10 to the second. 90 is 9 times 10 to the first. And 5 is 5 times 10 to the zero. Okay, why am I making this easy number so hard to recognize? Well, what we have just done is define the place value system. The 1 is in the thousands place because we multiply it by 10 to the third, which is a thousand. 3 is in the hundreds place because it is multiplied by a hundred. 9 is in the tens place, and 5 is in the ones place because 10 to the zero power is 1. The multiple of 10 is called the weight. 9 has a weight of 10, in other words. So this is how the decimal system we use works. We weight each digit, 0 through 9, and add them together to express numbers greater than 9, such as 1395. This is called the sum of weights method. We can do this with decimal places as well. Each decimal place also has a weight, which is a power of 10. The first decimal place is the tenths place, because it represents a fraction with a denominator of 10. This is the same as 10 to the negative 1 power. The hundredths is 10 to the negative 2, the thousandths is 10 to the negative 3, and so on. As an example, let's express 57.24 as a sum of weights. 5 has a weight of 10 to the first, 7 has a weight of 10 to the 0, 2 has a weight of 10 to the negative 1, and 4 has a weight of 10 to the negative 2. Understanding how the decimal number system actually works is crucial as we move into number systems with different numbers of base digits, such as binary, octal, and hexadecimal. In the next six videos, we're going to get into the binary number system, so stay tuned in. Until next time, 